All right, we are back with more solo leveling of Rise. I know it's been a minute. I've been busy with Black Clover, but today we're going to go ahead and talk about the brand new raid up unit, and that is our boy Min, right? Min is officially here. He's out. He does have his own custom raid up banner. And so a lot of y'all are probably wondering, well, should I summon, right? I mean, the unit is crazy broken. He is by far probably the number one support unit game for like offense related. He's just insanely broken but we're gonna see whether or not this unit is worth summoning for or should you go ahead and start preparing for the next unit um that is gonna be dropping after min which is gonna be an original character so it's gonna be pretty awesome to see and so before we hop into all this stuff and talk about min the new rate up unit um i do have some codes to give you guys so make sure y'all like sub support me on net marble all the stuff link in the description but let's go over to my net marble page and i am gonna give out 500 codes in this one video if i can so if you need to slow down the video or pause it do whatever you need to here are all the codes. Again, it is first come, first serve. So I wish you all the best of luck. Um, and I will also be posting these codes on my YouTube community page. So make sure you are subbed to see those. But yeah, here are all the codes. And obviously, by supporting me, it does help me out a ton as well. So if y'all could, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, I, I think, I mean, we're getting a, lo a lot of codes like, like every two weeks or so. So there's going to be more. If you don't get these batch, don't worry. There's going to be plenty more. I know free to play. These are like the best thing in the world, honestly. Dude, the fact that I actually give these is insane. But anyways, there are all the codes. Uh, again, please slow these down because I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it unless you pause it or slow it. But there are the codes. But anyways, like I said, today we're going to go ahead and talk about the boy Min, right? So shout out to Alpha Leaker. So when it comes to the gotcha radar banners, right, we already got Chal, we got Alicia, Emma, and then now Min is going to be here. Uh, we thought Choi was going to be our rate up unit potentially after Min, but that does not seem to be the case. Or maybe it could, maybe last minute they'll add in the files for a Choi radar banner. But apparently, we now know that the next unit most likely coming out is going to be an original character by the name of Maylin Fisher. I keep seeing, I keep wanting to say Merlin Fisher for some reason. I don't know why that name sounds hella familiar too, but... Maylin Fisher. So she is going to be a OG original character. Um, she is not part of the solo leveling world from the anime wise or manhwa, but she is going to be an original character and she is looking to be the next unit that's going to be rated up. So now here's the thing. This unit is going to be seeming like a water type and her skills mainly revolving around her spirit cat and creating waves. So yeah, just I mean, Obviously, we have zero information on her kit, right? We have zero information on her kit, so we don't know what the unit is going to be doing at all, even remotely close, because I don't think there's been any information or leaks regarding what she can potentially do. Um, but when it comes to the boy men, right? Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, should I summon? If I'm free to play and if I don't have men, should I go and pick up this crazy, probably like number one support unit in the game? It's very, very tough for me to tell you guys to skip because of the fact that, like, when it comes to support units, there really is not anyone that's like remotely close to what he can do okay so let's take a look at min on what he can do and why he's so broken why you want him uh keep in mind i'm free to play and i have my min ideally in the best possible spot at a1 okay if you are free to play and you are thinking about summoning for min ideally the best spot that you wanted to get him to is a1 and the reason being is because taking a look at his passive okay so his passive when you when you have him at a0 is when tagging in or using divine punishment applies the sky's effect which is going to be decreased damage taken by 50 percent and then also enhances specific skills effects and then when you are hit then you get to remove disguise for 10 seconds which is not too bad now the first dupe is like again the most important one for a lot of free-to-play players including myself and that is going to be increasing all your allies critical hit rate and crit damage by 12 percent which is great really 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 nice again when it comes to offense support there really isn't any other unit better than him in terms of what he can do uh i mean the unit is not dishing out any damage he's not playing a debuff role or any kind he's playing that support 1000 percent um and he does offer a little bit of healers but ideally the main thing with the unit is just buffing 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 uh so you do i mean you do get a little bit a tiny little bit of heals going on but it's not anything you know game changing but uh, in reality, the unit is just, again, being that number one support unit in game, hands down. So, to kind of say skip is hard for me to do so, but uh, when it comes to his skills too, right? So, he is going to be scaling off of max HP. The basic skill here is going to be doing, when the final hit lands, uh, it is going to be knocking down the target, and then also applying the Light Glimmer, which is going to be using, uh, increasing the entire team HP recovery equal to 0.52% of his max HP every second. And then when a user is disguised, increase the recovery rate by 100%. So it's guaranteed on for 10 seconds, which is not too bad. Again, the disguise effect is coming in whenever he does tag in or use the divine punishment effect, which is not too bad, okay? 
Uh, now moving over to the Conviction of Light. So this is going to be his, I guess, well, technically, I guess he does provide a debuff for your offense to do even more units, uh, not more units, but more damage rather. So it is going to be doing when the skill hits, apply the punishment effect. And then if you are under the disguise, then also apply the punishment effect to 15%, which is going to be doing a increased damage taken. So if you are not under disguise effect, then you're only doing 5%. But if you are under the effect, then that number jumps up to 15%, which means that whatever enemy you're fighting up against, then they are going to be taking a damage increase by 15 or 5%, depending if you're under the disguise effect or not which is broken okay and for a lot of players which i'm pretty sure you do free to play and pay to win most likely you have chaw okay because i mean especially if you started global day one then 100 you do have chaw which is by far one of the best dps units in game and considering the fact that this unit is not only a light damage dealer you know same typing as min but she is basing off a of crit rate crit damage and attack it's like yeah, the two of them are absolutely disgusting. By far one of the most stupidest combos in the game. I'll probably do a video showcasing these two alone, but they're just absolutely disgustingly broken. Uh, and then when it comes to the support skill here, it is going to be doing the knockdown effect, applying the punishment. Uh, Light Glimmer here for the support is increasing, I'm sorry, recovering HP equal to 1% of his max HP for 10 seconds. And then also doing the punishment effect by 15% for 20 seconds, which is really, really good in my opinion. Uh, when it comes to the QZ skill, nothing really crazy, except this time when the skill is used, you are filling your entire, I'm sorry, the entire team member's power gauge by 50% which I don't know why it says not that good. It's actually insanely broken uh, if you think about it. So increase power gauge by 50%. What else could you ask for? And then the ultimate here is applying the heavenly blessing effect. And then if you are disguised and apply the critical hit damage increase effect to the entire team, which is doing a 12% increased crit rate and crit damage for 12 seconds. So for Cha, Alicia, whatever unit you have that is critting, they're going to be doing stupid damage. Okay, crit, crit, crit. Okay, majority of you free-to-play players probably have toughness set on these units, right? Um, I mean, I, I guess ideally, G Wook, you can maybe go shield. But again, for free-to-play wise, I'm rocking crit, crit, crit on all three of my waifus. So they are all going this like stupid damage whenever men get set up properly. So having this is so, so good, right? And then a critical hit damage increase by 40%. Um, I'm sorry, is increasing the critical hit damage equal to 40% of the amount that exceeds men's basic critical hit damage. So kind of like uh, think of it as like overflow, whatever his overflow crit damage is going to be applying it to where your other units, which is really, really helpful. So men, again, a fantastic unit. So now I want to go over and talk about the, I guess, the new character that's coming onto the game, which is going to be Malin, right? Now, while we don't have any information, I'll also, let me talk about his weapon, okay? So when it comes to his weapon over here, um, increasing user HP by 2.5%, and then when a user uses Heavenly Blessing, increase the user and team member's damage dot by 4% for 16 seconds, which is not too bad. Again, you can't go wrong with this weapon. It's like helpful in pretty much every single you know crit base DPS situation that you're in. So for some reason, unless you're not needing a DPS by any means, then I guess you don't take him in. But I mean, for the most part, right? Every piece of content that you go up against, right? Whether it's Battlefield of Time, any ranking event too, by the way, majority of players always have min top ranking. If we take a look at the prior rankings for all the like um, Battlefield of Time stuff, majority of the times they are always using min. So, okay, this, this is doing calculations. Is it going to show me the ranking? Yeah, I mean, min, 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 uh, min, 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 right? Every single, like if you go take a look at your server right now, right now, you take a look at all the ranking events, you're always going to see Min, whether it's not just type advantage or anything, but he's always good for a reason, allowing you to kind of go in one tap, cleave everything, whether you're taking Cha, Alicia, whatever DPS unit you have, it's just allowing you to do that like a lot faster. It just, it matter go of like minutes to seconds even, it's actually insanely broken having this unit. So again, if you are able to get him, I would highly, highly, highly recommend um, and if you're a little bit low on summons, I would say just get the one copy. Now, speaking of the new unit, right? So let's go over to Twitter and talk about the girl Maylin here. So when it comes to Maylin, right? The only way, the only way, and this is like, because keep in mind, she's a water unit, right? We already have Jiwoo, which is going to be our water break unit. We have Alicia, which is our water DPS. We have Namche Young, which is another water freeze break unit. So if you think about it, water unit, water units in general are kind of covered, right? I mean, we don't have like a water healer. Technically, we do. We have Lee Joe Heat, which is a water healer, which is, isn't bad. 
But the only way that I do see Malin being like a, you know, potential even like summon unit for free to play wise is if she ends up being a crazy broken support unit, like, like disgusting broken support unit. Either that or she's going to be a DPS break unit having both DPS and breaks into one or she's offering some new mechanics that I can't think of at the moment. That's the only thing. Either that or she ends up being the best, the best new healer in the game. That's the only way I see this unit being really good, really helpful, because I feel like, you know, having back-to-back -back water typings is kind of like low-key troll, if you think about it, because we just got Alicia, right? So I don't think this unit is going to be anything crazy, um, and I guess having Min as the last rate of unit before this unit drops is the devs know that, you know, people are going to summon for Min because maybe you are free to play, maybe you're skipping out on this broken, disgusting unit. So I, if you summon on min, I don't blame you. If you want to get the one copy, again, I would highly recommend it. If you want to go for dudes free to play wise, you only need about A1. That's it. A1 is like your ideal for free to play. Like I'm not getting any more copies of this unit at all. You know, the moment I got him to A1, I was done. I was chilling. So I feel like free to play wise, you low key do not need him any higher than A1. But let me know your thoughts. Are you going to summon for min? Let me know in the comment section. Or are you going to start saving for units dropping after min? Which could be mainland. It could be the international hunter. I'm not sure. But uh, I do trust alpha leakers. So I'm pretty sure whatever they're saying. If they're saying that mainland is going to be the next unit. Then it's a, it's a good chance that they are right. So I feel like water units. I mean you can only take three units. Keep in mind right. So I'm kind of like content with having these three. Or you know Jiwoo, Alicia and min. For the Cerberus fight, I, I'm pretty good, honestly. So I think I will skip Malin, uh, and I obviously don't need to summon for Min. So that's just me. But let me know your thoughts. And again, uh, the codes are posted, and they will be posted on my YouTube page later. So make sure y'all sub, like all the stuff, and support your boy on that more. Right? Take care. Peace.